Hey guys, how you doing? So today, I'm sat here thinking to myself, right, I can't really travel around because uh, that's just not a, a, an option for me at the moment, but I do know somebody that does, and he's been all over the place, and that's my good friend Case. Uh, he's got a YouTube channel, Case One. If you haven't had a look, please guys check it out. We've done a couple of videos together where he's been off in Bangkok, and then he went up to Chiang Mai, and uh, now, believe it or not, he's down in Koh Samui. So uh, I wanted to talk to him about what's going on down in Koh Samui, because I've only been there once. I have to say it was a fantastic time. I loved it. It's where I actually got mugged off. The best I've ever been mugged off in my life. And it was by two little kids. And uh, in, if you're not sure about what I'm referring to, I'll quickly tell you. Basically, uh, I met some friends in, uh, in Koh Samui, and they were, they were due to fly out. So I, I kindly had a Jeep. I hired a Jeep for the whole time. It was fantastic. Open top 4x4 Jeep. Brilliant. Anyway, I took them to the airport, said our goodbyes. When I went back to the car park, all four, not just one, but all four of my tyres were flat as a pancake. And I'm like, man, what's going on there? Anyway, all of a sudden, from around the back of this bungalow came this little ee, ee, ee. And there was two kids. I reckon the oldest one was probably about nine or ten. And the youngest was probably six or seven, something like that. But they were pushing this compressor with a flat wheel, which was doing the ee, ee. And they walked up to me, came over and said, Mr. Mr. You need air? And I looked at him, I was like, dude, like, that's just unbelievable. Of all the coincidences in the whole world, I've got four flat tires and you've got an air compressor. How lucky am I? So anyway, they blew all my me, me, me wheels back up, my tires back up and uh, charged me 50 bar a tire. <laughs> Oh man, brilliant, absolutely fantastic. And uh, you know, two young entrepreneurs that are going around letting people's tires down and saying to them, hey mate, don't suppose you need any air by any chance, do you? <laughs> fantastic. But I have to say, um, if you've been to Koh Samui, guys, drop your comments down below. You know, what was your experience? What did you find for Koh Samui? And also Koh Phangan. I've never been to Koh Phangan, but also, you know, what was that like? Have you had a good time? The full moon parties and all those kinds of things. So, on the subject of Koh Samui, uh, I, wanna, I know that uh, Case is down there, so I'm going to fire over to Case and, and let him show us what's going on right here, right now, and uh, let's see what's happening. Case, over to you. How are you, Trev? So, I have come to Koh Samui, so I thought I'd, I'd bring you out here and show you what's happening here. Mate, things, it's not looking good. It's really not looking good here. So, I'll take you for a walk around, I'll show you what it's like here. So mate, right now I'm sitting in the middle of Chowang Beach Road. Um, I've done these videos with you and I've traveled around different cities. You know, I was in Pattaya, then I visited Bangkok and I was in Chiang Mai. This is the quietest place I have seen yet. There is not a car around, there is not a person, there's not a sound, just listen. <laughs> it's just fucking weird, mate. Ah oh, man, I've been here, oh, I've come here a bunch of times and like, you know, this street is normally really bustling. It's just completely deserted. And it's not just like, you know, in Pattaya, Walking Street is empty, but here it's like this whole area is empty. And this is more than just a walking street. So I'll show you, and I'm just gonna walk down the middle of the road because I can, uh, and I don't need a mask because there is not a single person around here. But the biggest thing I notice is like, the place just looks like an absolute wasteland. Like, look, so McDonald's here, that's shut. Burger King, that's shut. When they're shut, you know there's not like it, you know it's not good. So 7-Eleven also shut. But the thing is, you know, the places, a lot of them have been gutted and anything valuable is taken. So it just looks like, you see here, it just looks like an absolute wasteland. Like it's, God, it's bizarre. And still no cars here. Not, not a single person's gone past. I haven't seen a single other human the entire time I've been talking to you. So we'll take a walk through this strip. You know, it's like, it's one of the little like walking streets here in, in Chowang Beach. Um, I've had many a good night here. It's just, it's actually just how I remember, just without the people and the noise and the fun. Um, it's so quiet. I can hear birds chirping. So I will say the majority of these places from the outside look quite well kept. So I'm assuming they're gonna be reopening once they can. So at the moment, Koh Samui has the Samui Plus program. So you can travel here without needing to quarantine from overseas, or you sort of, you quarantine within the island, basically. So I thought that would attract a lot of people here. And then also, 
being that this is an orange zone um, and the restrictions are a lot less, I thought people living in Thailand might want to come here because you can live somewhat more of a normal life. You know, you can drink in bars and stuff. Obviously, these ones haven't decided to open. They obviously don't have the people coming through here that they would have expected either. And this is a fun little corner of Samui. This was a really cool bar and they had like pool tables and great music and stuff. And then straight opposite is Green Mango Nightclub bar club whatever it is uh, great place I'm sure if you've been to Thailand if you've been to Koh Samui you would have been to this place it's really cool I've had many a good night in here really fun place so it looks quite well kept um, so I imagine they're ready to open once once tourism if it ever comes back whereas you come to some of these other bars and they've been completely gutted out there's nothing in here at the moment everything of value has been removed I'm assuming and been sold or whatever it's super weird to be in these places. Well, I decided to come into Green Mango. Uh, I'm not sure if I... Oh, security's here. These places are patrolled by dogs now, so... Um, God, it's weird to be in here. Alright, buddy, I'll be leaving in a minute. This dog's really not happy that I'm here. This place is actually a little bit different to what I remember, but that's no surprise. I was, you know, drinking. Not a sound. I can hear birds. I can hear a frog or something like that. It's just unbelievable. I love these little open bars that you have here. Um, this one's got. God, there is so much dust on this pool table. Ugh. The weird thing with some of these bars is like you can just walk right in. Like there's no fence or anything like that. Uh oh, here's security. It's just so crazy to see all these photos. It just, you know, seeing all these people partying, having fun and doing all the things that, you know, we used to think are so normal. It's just so far removed now. It seems like a different lifetime ago or a different world. It's just, man, I can hardly even remember what it's like. That's probably due to all the drinking I was doing. <laughs> all right, Trev, I'll send it back to you. I'd love to know your thoughts on the place. Um, yeah, tell me what you think. Mate, I've got to say, that's, uh, that, that's been a bit of a shocker, to be fair. You know, obviously here in Pattaya, you know, things are slightly improving. Nothing to, to shout about, and certainly not uh, something to be, you know, shouting from the rooftops over. But we are slowly getting a little bit more freedom, a little bit more opening, and uh, things are slightly showing signs of recovery, albeit an incredibly slow one. But I've got to say, mate, that is just a shocker. That I mean, you're talking like the place is just... Well, I don't know how to describe it really, other than the fact that it's just incredibly barren and desolate. And yeah, I mean, I was over at Kolan the other day and at least that was kind of busy and there was a lot more open, but Koh Samui, mate, I mean, honestly, how destroyed is that place? And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, with the way that things are looking right now in terms of flights and restrictions and the vaccinations that we can get that place back up and running. Because I've got to say, to see that, that was really, really, well, it was just shocking, mate, shocking. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing, uh, I don't know, really. Uh, th there's not much else to say, is there? Devastating to think that what used to be such a really busy, thriving place is sadly just a completely empty shell now. Really, really don't know what else to say. Okay, so enough about that. Now, I know you like your funky little things and your little click-throughs and all these kind of things. Let's talk about Koh Pang Yang. Over to you, my man. All right, mate. Well, this is a bit of a look at Koh Samui and what's happening here or what's not happening here. Um, God, it's just crazy to see it like this. Actually, you know what? I just got thinking I should have gone to Koh Phangan because that's where the full moon party was. I'm really curious as to what's happening there. Maybe we'll go. All right, mate. Here we are, Koh Phangan. I'm surprised, actually. Like, so there's all these like beachfront bars along here where the full moon party was. Um, and a lot of them are still open and they're actually open and trading right now. Um, I would have thought this place would be dead completely. You know, I was just showing you just a second ago how quiet it was over there in Koh Samui. And it's, it's really different here. So in my, in my short time that I've been here looking around, there's definitely more people out and about here in the island. So I think a lot of the people that were in Samui have come over here and they're hanging out here. 
So all the shops that you book your like tourist activities and stuff through, they're all shut. Um, and they've, they've been closed down for quite a while by the looks of it. But um, the, the bars have remained open. So, you know, being that it's an orange zone here, the bars are allowed to be open and trading is normal. Uh, they are empty, like there's no one here, but you know, they're still open. Well, mate, the weather looks like it's about to turn. So I better shoot back to Koh Samui. See you later. Well, as you can see, there's not much happening there, not much happening here. So sad times for this place. You know, I really expected more with the Samui Plus program and there being the not, not many restrictions here at the moment, but it's just how things are in Thailand at the moment, I guess. All right, Trevor, I'm going to check out of here um, as I'm standing at a bar, not getting a drink. So sad times here in Koh Samui, unfortunately. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm off to next. I'm still doing some more traveling around. So wherever I am, I'll check in with you. All right, mate, see ya. Honestly, mate, what's, what's, I love this bit. See, that's our age gap, isn't it? You know what I mean? I'm like reading a, a book and you're like flicking through a magazine. So like we're just, we're so different in that respect. But yeah, brilliant, mate. I love all these. Look at me. <laughs> brilliant. Listen, my man, fantastic. And thanks for sharing that. Yeah, I mean, I have to say I've never been to Koh Phangan. Guys, if you're watching this video and you have, please, you know, share away. Drop your comments below. What is the full moon party really like? Because I've never been. I'm not saying that I'm not going to go, but I'm just saying I've never been. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll, I'll grow my hair and I'll be one of those aging hippies that's just like bonged out on the beach and all that kind of stuff. Can you imagine me being with long hair and being bonged out? In the, anyway, no, let's not go down there. But yeah, I mean, Koh Phang Yang, mate. Wow. You know, unbelievable. And like I said, I've never been there. So if you have been there, guys, let us know. All right, my man. Well, listen, as always, it's been a pleasure. But the question has got to be, get your ass back up here and let me show you around my playground and show you what's going on here, or rather what's not going on here. Um, I'll even take you, I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll have a wander around six, seven and eight and uh, we'll talk about things down there because I know you've, you've not experienced that. So, uh, okay, we'll, we'll do that. So come on up, my man, come on up. All right, guys, so that's it from us. I hope you've enjoyed this little collaboration. Please remember to jump onto Casey's YouTube channel. There's a link in the description below. Uh, give him a thumbs up, give him a like, join him, subscribe. You know, be, be there for him, guys. It's fantastic to support each other. Guys, as always, from my side of the fence, thank you so much for watching. Please remember, hit that subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video. Check out our Discord, get on there. It's just 4,200 people now. And it's busy, busy, busy. There's lots of photos, videos, you name it. It's all on there, guys. So jump over there, have a look at that, and join our members area and get your buzzing uh, digital ID card. I'm um, getting you loads of free shots, loads of discounts, uh, special service offers, etc., etc. It's slowly coming together. And uh, if you're looking for a taxi from the airport, Remember the buzzing taxi, if that's something that you're interested in, just drop me a, an email, 247pataya at gmail.com, and I won't spam you. You're going to get no loads of emails. All you're going to get is a reply from me saying, yep, registered, thanks very much. And when we launch the buzzing taxi, uh, I will go back to you with one email to say, guys, it's on the website. Check it out. There it is. Have a look. All right, that's it for me, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and please, as always, wherever you are in the world, stay safe. Mm -hmm.